Okay, so we've already kind of started off talking about it. A prime number is something defined as two factors, which means it can only divide by one in itself. So the number five can be divided by one and by itself. Nothing else divides evenly into it. So it's not divisible by two or three or any other number. That's what a prime number is. So that definition is what we're going to work off of the entire class. So prime number is critical if you want to figure this stuff out for today. A composite number is something that has more than two factors. So the number six is divisible by what? One, two, three, six. It's more than two factors. This is the discussion we are about to have. So it says, the number one only has one factor. It's only divisible by itself and it one, which is itself. So it's not a prime number. You can expect to see that question a few times. It's not a composite number either. And then in this course, the number zero is defined to have zero factors. No factors. And that was the question you had. What was it? So ask again. Uh, so wouldn't technically zero have all that are like every term possible? Because it doesn't matter if it's one or ten billion, it's still going to be zero. Right. So that's kind of the argument. So if you had zero things and you wanted to divide it into a hundred groups, you could divide it into a hundred equal groups of zero. Oh, but in the other way, you can't divide by zero. But you can't really divide by zero. So that's kind of why it's a little bit of a weird number. In this course, we're just going to leave it nice and simple. Say that it has no factors. So it's not prime, it's not composite. We'll just make it nice and simple for us. A zero is a number that there's a lot of research on because it's kind of a weird thing. So, in your groups, list the first ten prime numbers real quick. The first ten. So the first one is two. One is not a prime number. But two is a prime number because it's divisible by two and one. And that's it. Figure out the next nine. So, pull it together. Okay, what's the next prime number? First one's two. Four. Three, because what's the prime number? Why can't it be four? Four is also divisible by two. Okay, what's the next one? Five. And then? And then? What's nine divisible by? Three. So nine doesn't count. What's the next one? Thirteen. Next one. Next one. Yep. 23? Yeah. What about 21? No. Nope, divisible by 7 and by 3. How many do we have? What's the last one? Ooh, some people say 27, some people say 29. What's 27 divisible by? Divisible by 93, right? You're going to need to know the first 10 or so prime numbers almost off by heart. It'll make your life way easier. Question? Yeah, that's all good. Because what we're going to move on to is going to require you to know the prime numbers. And if you don't have to look them up every time, it makes life 10 times better. And it's broken again. Okay. Go through with the person next to you. To classify each number as prime or composite.
Talk it over to your partner. Whoever's next to you. Either side, your choice. Number you can divide into 46. 23. Yeah. 23 is divisible into it two times. So, what does that probably give us a hint? All even numbers are going to be what? Composite, right? Except for the number 2. Because everything else is divisible by 2, right? Okay, 37. This one is composite. 37 prime? We all agree? 39. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's cool. I don't know what this magic pencil about, but it's pretty cool. Oh, it's a cubic control around. Yeah, you're like, oh, that's cool. 39. Prime? Composite. Composite. What divides into it? Three. Three. All right. Show you a cool trick. Let's see if things are visible by three. 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 Nine, and you add them together. And if the number you get is divisible by three, then that number is divisible by three. Yeah, if that doesn't make sense to you, that's cool. If, but if that made a little bit of sense, it's a quick way to check if things are divisible by three. So if I give you the number 10,101, it's divisible by three. Because 1 plus 0 plus 1 plus 0 plus 1 is equal to 3, which is divisible by 3. It works for every number for 3. It's just a cool trick that happens with the number 3. Are it? No. Uh, some crap Jesus figured that out. No, it wasn't you. Okay, so... So if we take a number like 202,200, we take each digit and add them up. So 2 plus 0 plus 2 plus 2 plus 0 plus 0 is equal to 6. Number 6 is divisible by 3. So that number has to be divisible by 3. When you punch in your calculator and check it, it should be divisible by 3. Yeah, so if you're trying to figure out something that's divisible by 3 real quick, it's a little trick. I think I learned that like some like elementary school, some kid blew my mind with it. 101. Yeah. Is 101 prime or composite? Prime and composite? Is that even possible? I don't worry. It's called it's prime. The only things to be to do it are two and one or one and one oh one. Okay. This is why this stuff's gonna be important. Prime factors. So that's when we take a number and we break it down into only its primes. So for an example, 
And I can't write on this board right now, which is making life ten times harder. <laughs> Say hi, mom, louder. So here. Hi, mom. Okay. Okay. Back then. Ladies. Aren't you the one who wanted to be in your own team? Prime factors of six. So it's the prime numbers that divide into six. And what are they? Two to three. Six. Three up. Two. Three. Have you seen the dot before? Dot means multiplication. So two dot three is two times three. It's a different way of doing yes. So if the prime factors of 6 are 2 and 3, what are the prime factors of 12? What are just the factors of 12? So it's all things that divide into 12. So, yep, 1. Right? 1's the first one. And then 2, 3, 6, 12, 4, and we're missing 4. Yep. So those are all the factors of 12. Yeah, Joe. Joe, got a question? Four is not a prime number, but yeah, it divides into 12, right? So this is a factor. I guess that's what we need to define first. Factor, guys. Factor is things that divide into something evenly. So the factors of six were two and three, and one and six. Yeah, sorry, I jump forward to prime factors. The factors of 6 include 1 and 6. The prime factors are just 2 and 3. Question? I found out a neat way to um, find out prime factors and factors. What you do is you pick the number and then you uh, find out what goes into that number and then you find out what goes into that number. That yeah, that's actually what we're doing next. Oh, okay. So if you look at this list of all the factors of 12, what are the prime factors of it? 1, 3, 2. What did we say about the number 1 on the first page? Right. Number 1 is a special number. It's not a prime number. 1 is not a prime number. 2 is, 3 is. 6 isn't, 12 isn't, 4 isn't. So that's all the prime factors. And then it says express 12 as a product of primes. So that means multiplication of only prime numbers that would get up to 12. That's a little harder, eh? So what prime numbers could you multiply to get up to 12? 2 times 3 is 6. You just have to get to 12, those are times by 2 again. It's kind of a crummy way to do it though, right? So 2 times 2 times 3. That would be a product of prime factors. It's not a good system for doing it though. So, you have to change the slide. This is an easy way to do it. So every composite number can be expressed as can do its prime factors. The way that we did that with 12, we broke it into 2 times 2 times 3. You can do that with every single composite number. So the prime factorization will give you the prime factors, and then it will also give you the product of the prime factors. So there's two different methods. There's the division table, and there's the tree diagram. Yeah. The table is way easier, Joe says. Other people love the tree. It doesn't matter which way you do it, as long as you can get it done. But I know another way of doing it, but it's just Okay, yeah, then it'll work for now, then you can show me those on graphic. So what they did with the degree, with the division table, you put up the number that you're working with. So we're doing 48. 
you write down a prime number to divide a divisible by two, and you put the remainder on the right column, and you keep doing that. So what's another prime number that goes into 24? Yeah. Is 12 a prime number? Oh, nope, what's a prime number that goes into 24? Two goes into 24, and the remainder is 12. So you keep working your way down the table like that. Another number that goes into 12? Two. Remainder six. And so on, until so you eventually get to a prime number. And the only thing that goes into that prime number is itself, and you're left with one. Once you get to one, you're done. Question. So six is divisible by... Uh, they jumped to three. Yeah. yeah. So they just put three, leaving a remainder of... Should have been two. Yeah, two. They started up here. So I start the other way. So they did 48 divided by 2, and then they worked their way down. So this first one counts. When I make my tables, I don't start with that size. Then, if you see on the bottom, it should be better on your papers. If you write out all those numbers, test it in your calculator. All the numbers in this column multiplied by each other will give you the answer. That's called... Writing something as a product of its prime factors. The tree diagram is the same thing, you're just breaking it up in a different way. So you take 48 and you break it up into two things. 6 and 8, they multiply to be 48, right? 6 then can be broken into 3 and 2. 8 can be broken into 4 and 2. 4 can be broken down further, so we keep going. 4 can be broken up into 2 and 2. And it gives you the same answer. 3 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. What would be the prime factors of 48? Just the prime factors. 2 and 3. So the only prime factors are the actual numbers. And the prime product the product of the prime factors, it's a lot of keys. The product of the prime factors is all of them multiplied together. How many people are lost? How many people get it? That's a lie. No, you'll be good. You'll be good. Okay. Let's do an example together. We'll do one doing the table and one doing the tree. Let's do 2,000... 184. So you won't be able to, we're going to give you numbers like this that you aren't able to just know off the top of your head you could be six. So you got to break this down. Let's do tree method first. So what's something that divides into this? Two. That's what I usually do. So two. And that gives you a remainder of you have to punch your calculator. Exactly. 1,902. Punch in your calculator. 1,092. When you get a prime number, circle it. You're done. Once you get a prime number, stop. This one is not prime. What's it divisible by? Mm -hmm. Two. Pick prime numbers that divide into it. It makes it easier. Because then you keep, you only have to work down one side of the tree. What's the remainder? 546. 546. Circle your two. Keep going. What's this divisible by? 273. 273? Circle it. Is it? Is it divisible by 2? No. Nope. Is it divisible by 3? Yep. What's it do? What do you get when you divide it by 3? 91. 91. Divided by 3. 3. 3. 3. Circle that. 
Greece Prime, right? That's one divisible by. It's not divisible by two. Six. Does six go into ninety-one? So, and six isn't a prime either. So don't try to divide it by prime. So I think you like easier. Seven. seven. And what's the answer? And thirteen. This is where knowing your prime numbers off by heart is going to be useful. Seven's prime. Thirteen's prime. So, if I were to ask you, what are the prime factors of 2,184? What are they? 2, 3, and 13. Those are your prime factors, right? What's the product of the prime factors? Put your hand back. See you. Oh, Emma. Right, so all she did was she multiplied all the things we had circled. And that's called your prime factorization thing. So prime, or your product of prime factorization. Two times two times two times three times seven times. And she said it in a different way. What did she say? Two cubes, yeah. Which is a ten times easier way of writing it instead of having to write out two hundred times. Any questions? Try this out. Another example using uh, the table. Okay, so we're going to do a bigger number. We're not going to give you easy numbers. So 11,000. 310. Two definitely goes in. Is there a bigger prime that we know goes in right off the top of our heads? Ten is not a prime number, right? Ten. Divided by prime. Five. Five, Five is a prime. Yep, yeah, you can start with two if you want. It, it actually doesn't matter what you start with. I, if you can see one really quick, like a five, that's good. If you want to do two, it's good. It'll give you the same answer. So it actually. Both ways. Okay, let's see, we'll get the same answer. It's going to be a little harder. Oh, you. you divided it by five, what's your remainder? 2,262. If you divide it by two, what's your remainder? What is it? 155? Almost 600. This side. 600. <laughs> This side, three, what's your remainder? 754. On this example, what's up that goes in there? Five, what's your remainder? What divides into 754? That's prime. Two. And your remainder is? 
this side. So you should go into it, right? Well, what's the arrangement? Seven. 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 Yeah? Can you believe them? Did it test it? All right, let's set up. How are you getting all these numbers? Yeah, what are you doing? Just type in your calculator, right? It's that simple. You're just taking this number here. Divided by 2, being 377. And so forth and so forth. You can see we've actually ended up at the same point now, right? Sorry. Yep, how was the remainder? And 29 is also a prime number, right? But what's 29 divisible by? By itself, right? So you got to write it down. You stop on the tables, you stop once you get to the number one. You need to work your way all the way down to the number one. On the tree, you stop once you hit a prime. On the table, you stop once you hit one. Because otherwise, we would have forgot to multiply by 29. So now we can just go right down this column. And if we had done the same here, we would have had a 13 and a 29. Same number, right? But you can see 5 here, here, 3 here, here, 2 here, here. It does work out the same. As long as you're dividing by prime numbers, it will work out to be the same. So, what are the prime factors? Johnny? So, the prime factors, when they ask you for the prime factors, you just have to write out the numbers. When they ask for the product of the prime factors, you have to multiply them all together. So the prime factors are 2, 3, 5, 13, and 29. Product of the prime factors is all that column multiplied by itself. So it's 5 times 3 times 2 times 13 times 29. If you do that in your calculator, what do you get? Yeah, that's how you can test your answer. If you multiply all those together and you don't get the original question, you went wrong somewhere. Any questions about prime numbers? About prime factorization? About prime... Prime to the prime factors? Liam's like, no, I don't have no questions. You get it? Okay. I can help.